Hey guys, and welcome back to Vlogmas Day for what? And also welcome back to Coffee with Santi, my sometimes recurring segment where my lamp just fell. <laughs> Feeling my face with light. So much light. Coffee with Santi is my sometimes recurring segment where I drink coffee and talk to you guys about stuff that's been on my mind or stuff I just want to talk about. And uh, yeah, we just sit here and drink coffee and I jab at you for a couple of minutes. So today I wanted to talk about fame and like famous people and sort of how that, how I think about that and how it kind of disgusts me. <laughs> because last night I was laying in bed and I had this like really terrifying thought of um, what it would be like to be famous because being famous in Western society, uh, particularly in America, sounds really terrifying. <laughs> like, I can't imagine having somebody follow you around all the time, constantly taking pictures of you, and constantly scrutinizing every single thing that you do. Like, we don't do that with most people, and yet with celebrities, we feel like it's okay to just kind of follow them around and like take pictures of them in their underwear and their bathing suits and when they're at the gym and when they're in the store in their sweats and it's kind of gross when you think about it like I kind of hate it and yet I still manage to fall into that trap of like paying attention to it like sometimes I'll get on snapchat and they have those little snapchat stories and I find myself doing things like oh pff, she's gonna wear that dress <sighs> he's gonna wear that shirt <sighs> they're gonna use that filter <sighs> That's me? Oh, that's me. Hi! Do you know what I mean? Like, we we hold people under such a, a microscope that I can't imagine what it's like to live that way. Like, you're constantly being watched and you're constantly like, you have to be so, you have to tread so lightly because everything you do is gonna come under fire, especially if you're an A-list celebrity or even like a high B-list celebrity. As much as I don't like the Kardashians and the Jenners and that whole family, I can't imagine what it's like to be them every single day of their lives and be forced to live in this horrifying reality where every single day you, you're being, you're getting your picture taken by people you don't know, you're getting followed around to everything you do, every party you go to there's gonna be celebrities there that are gonna be like, oh I know you from the blah blah blah. Celebrities seem to not really be people anymore. It's terrifying. And why do we do that? I'm, I'm really curious. I don't know the psychology behind it. I don't know why we hold some people up on this huge pedestal that they can't seem to fall off of. But it's, it's scary. It's scary and makes me scared. And we also live in a society right now that is so interconnected and, you know, we're so aware of everything that's going on all the time. It's really, it really irks me when like somebody just does one little small thing on social media and then everybody attacks like a freaking gazelle not a gazelle gazelles don't attack typically <laughs> like lions to a wounded gazelle like everybody leaps on them and wants to pass judgment and i think we forget that people as john and hank green like to say are very complex and we should be imagining people complexly instead of they're just these cardboard cut out like perfect people because think about if somebody walked around you Walked around you? Yeah, just kind of walked around you in a circle. <laughs> no, imagine if people followed you around all the time and like scrutinized every little thing you did. You would be come across as like the worst person ever. Especially me, like I do really, really stupid, gross, awful things all the time. Like not because I'm a bad person, but just because I'm a, I'm an imperfect person who makes mistakes. But people don't hold me to the same standard that they hold like Kim Kardashian to, which is weird. Like the woman freaking got robbed and people were still like scrutinizing her and being like, oh, why is she going out of this? Th -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Like, are you kidding me? The woman got held at gunpoint and we're still like, like holding her to a certain, like it just doesn't, it makes me sad and sick and I don't like it. Not a particularly Christmassy topic. So, um, I gotta find a way of cheering you guys back up now. I know, I'll link in the description this really great video of two people having a saxophone battle on a New York subway. It's a couple of years old, but that's golden, man. That'll put you in the Christmas spirit. Anyway, that's all I had for today. Um, I'm sure I had other things to say, I just don't remember what they were. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Okay. Bye! Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing right there. Go ahead and check out my last video uh, from Vlogmas. And go ahead and check out one of my other videos that I've done on maybe this topic or maybe something else. Whatever I depend to put up there. Uh, and especially if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like down below. But anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye.